All right, Pat and Gwen here. It's been a long time since I've sat next to you and we've done an interview, but I think we sat down today and I thought, it's exactly six months since you've had your surgery for Hagelin's deformity. So I feel like in the last, you know, however long year that this has been, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster, but I feel like we're on the other side of it and it's going Yeah, I think yeah. Pretty smooth. But what but but I'd like to I'd like to kind of reflect back on that this past year and just think about you know, where we were a year ago this time and where we're at right now. Well, what were we doing a year ago at this time? Thinking that your foot would be better in 3 weeks, <laughs> thinking that your foot would be better in 3 weeks, thinking that your foot would be better in 3 weeks and yeah. all of a sudden it was seven months and then it was like okay i think it's time to just get the thing hacked out yeah. so i think that that's and, and then we thought it was going to be a quick recovery from surgery and it wasn't yeah, really it was good. yeah um so, i, I mean it, I, there's a lot of positives like yeah, yeah, yeah. i can touch the back of my heel completely <laughs> like without the worst you can jump pain. rope i can jump i can jump rope i can do box jumps like i hadn't been doing any plyo so that stuff's all better like the pain on like the back of my heel used to be so bad like there's no way i could have done like this and even like sleeping at night i used to be a back sleeper but because of the pain i couldn't sleep on my back like i had to, i started sleeping yeah. on my side um i couldn't used to like i couldn't just dorsiflex my foot without pain um so like all that stuff has improved which is really um i think a lot of positives but i think the like the biggest thing the past couple months I felt is just like a lot of guilt. Um, I felt guilty because I haven't been able to race. Like this is my job. I get paid to race. I get paid to perform and I haven't done that. And that has really worn on me. And I think like I've never had a, a, a chronic or a long-term injury or really any injury like over a week. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's probably the hardest, that's been the, biggest hardest thing for me is just mentally not um getting down on myself feeling like you know I'm getting paid to do a job and I'm not doing it yep and I think you know on the positive of this we didn't realize how many like compromises you were making in your training and like just everyday life like just even in the last you know four three four months like how much more you can do around the house with Stanley before when you would kind of have to like get up there was like always like a warming up period <laughs> where you'd have to be like oh, yeah. okay let me just do it oh, yeah. okay. I mean I can get out of bed and walk like the, well yeah and even like I mean you probably Run. don't even know this but two months ago you know you like Stanley woke up from a nap and you sprang up from this couch and <laughs> sprinted up the stairs and I was like whoa <laughs> haven't seen that for a long time so yeah. and I you know just so some real positives um, around that and I think you know so so that's been really cool I mean I remember very vividly sitting in the in the surgeon's office and he said you know I think he goes it's it's gonna take you three to six months to recover and I think I you and I you, you and I only heard three you and I only heard I don't think he ever said to six he, he said three he to said, six. he said he, most no. people are healed in like 12 weeks you and I optimistically only heard three months and I think you initially got like a pretty good bounce like up to you got up to three pretty quick and then I thought it was gonna keep rocket like just going yeah and then it seemed like it was like a plateau and it was huge even plateau. a living a little down yep up plateau even as recently as like a month ago yeah it was like I thought that was like a pretty hard patch if I look back and just think like dang are we ever just gonna get out of this like and I think this yeah. thing that we're in and then I'll, I mean the last three or four weeks have been really really yeah and really able positive. to start workouts really with positive. the team yeah. and um, yeah, it's, it's good to be able to start workouts again. I think, you know, with injury, another big thing that was super difficult for me is like as an athlete and just like who I am, like I always want to push and like you train your bodies and your mind to push beyond pain as an athlete. And I think that's why, um, it, you know, that makes you really successful. But then when you have an injury, you can't push beyond the pain because that's doing negative things it's not like helping you perform mm -hmm. and so like I've had to hold that back and I think that's been uh, really hard um, and I'm, I'm excited now that I'm able to like get back into it and actually 
be able to push beyond what's comfortable. Like I haven't been able to do that in so long because I've been so worried about, you know, we've invested so much into the surgery and so much time that I've just been like, okay, I need to make it work. Um, getting older, time's running out. <laughs> and how do you think you and I have handled the last year? Um, I don't know. What do you, why? What do you think? I think, I think the I, last... I, yeah, I could have been borderline cracked a month ago. I don't know that I showed that to you, but I was just kind of like, oh my goodness, are we ever just going to like get back? Like I missed the groove of like proper training, going to races, like getting amped. And I don't know if it had been like a long enough window of no racing, no training specifically for races and then no racing where I was just like, I think are, we ever gonna are we ever going to find like... Like I want to go, ra I want to go race. I want to go do some sweet stuff. Is that but why you're racing the bike more? That's why I'm racing the bike more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> you've definitely picked up a few more hobbies, which was you've been racing your bike more. You have a like a a non a job that's not just looking after me and, and yeah. Stanley. And I think you know when when those things ramp up for you, and I I think I took it hard, especially when I you know there's days when you'd want to do the Sunday ride in the morning and I need to do my training in the morning and I just felt like well you're prioritizing your training over mine and it felt like you weren't like believing in me anymore yeah. and I think you know there's a lot of outside people as well who weren't believing in me I haven't raced in so long and um, I'm a pretty strong person and I don't let other people's opinions of me affect me except when they're close to me so like you never said anything to me but just by you doing that it felt like maybe you weren't believing in me um, which was pretty hard well I believe in you sweetheart mm -hmm. I believe in you I think <laughs> well I mean I think you know there's there's even been like there's been other people that have been close to me that have kind of I'd say doubted me and um the one yep. person though that I think matters the most besides like you and Stanley <laughs> um like Jerry has had a really he had a really positive um like sit down conversation with me about how he does believe in me and how um, you know, this yep. is the, the right path. So, um, yeah, yeah. And I think I, that's been a, that was a huge, like I needed that conversation. Yeah. And I think Jerry I, doesn't have those very I often. Know, so he must have like, you gotta, yeah. he could kind of read me maybe. <laughs> yeah. And I just think if we, if we go, if I go back and look at, you know, I just keep thinking back to 10 days before Chicago, how, you know, pre that race, you had so much, there was a lot of positive around you and like the people that were in your that were in your like real inner circle saw that and like saw you showing up every day. Race day though. I understand I honey I understand but I think that makes it even harder going through this surgery sure, like my sure. last race was a horrible race sure then I have surgery I don't do anything yeah and it's um, been 13 and it's months it's been really hard and then um you know I jump back in with trying to train with the ladies who were at world at their highest level like the fittest they've ever been um, and, and I'm getting, coming, yeah, I'm just, you but know. But you're getting better at your long runs. I know, you my long to, runs. You used to be able to do 55 minutes. <laughs> that was your, you were training for marathon, but you bonk after 55 minutes. So like. That is weird. Like my long runs have been a lot better since coming back from uh, surgery. So that's been, um, it's been a weird transition. Yeah. I, I just, I just feel like it, there's throughout this whole thing there has still just been kind of an aura of positivity and I think that's a, honey despite it all but I just think that you and I have had enough perspective I think with Stanley and having the success that you've had in the past and like you know I had a no I mean I know what really matters and I'm, I'm not defined yeah, by my sport of course but I'm just I was I'm just thinking of like a month ago if I was like in a if I was in a dark place about where this was going to end up <laughs> and I called and I called you know this interview is all about you apparently well, you were I going need... through a hard time <laughs> did we need to go the, get your it's therapist gonna, it's going to be called Pat's really struggling that's <laughs> going to be the name of the video but I just think I just think I had a friend to just say hey look like does Gwen enjoy getting up every morning and going to train and are you doing that and I was like <laughs> and the lights came on I was like Oh yeah, like she hasn't missed a like hasn't missed a beat, you yeah. know. And I just think even too like you're doing all of the little things. Like it could be the you know every night before bed I see you doing like the stretches. <laughs> no, like, that's not stretching. What is it? That's well, I'm getting my trying to get that 
calf stronger. I'm only doing it on my right side. I'm trying to get that Achilles stronger. So it's just extra. See, but like, because in order to get it strong, you need to do the strength and the repetition. So. I, but for like people like kind of like part-time athletes like me, like I'll skip that stuff. Like I haven't <laughs> done a sit up in, in a year, but like you, like all of those little things that represent the discipline of coming back. Um, I'm really proud that you haven't missed a beat on that. Oh, thanks. Well, I know. Just, it's just weird. Just, yeah. I know. I'm, yeah. Just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just saying, like, that's kind of what's helping. Keep you motivated? It doesn't seem like you're motivated. Cause you oh, are, come on. He's got so many jobs now. You've got so many jobs <laughs> And my now. number one is, you're my number one. Duh. Well, Stanley's my number one. You're <laughs> number 1.5. Yeah. But, I mean, I think overall, um, this last year is really hard. Like, I've never gone through a serious injury, and I've always said to other people, um, you know, that injury is the hardest part of sport, but I've never lived it and I've never experienced that. So, um, to actually experience it and know, like, you know, my, my, my biggest struggle was just feeling that guilt, feeling like I'm getting paid to do a job and I can't yeah, do my job yeah, of course. and I am doing my job because every day I'm going to PT, I'm doing those little exercises and like, but it doesn't feel like I'm doing my job because I wasn't able to get out there and like race and I wasn't able to yeah. do training to get me race fit. Um, and so that was... Yeah, that was just kind of the the biggest struggle, I think, and um, it does it is good to get back in a rhythm. Um, and you and I are finding, I think, our good like new normal um, mm -hmm. of you know getting back into heavy training and um, just like this is totally off topic, but like marriage advice, we used to go for a walk every night, one hour without any cell phones, which I loved. I thought yeah. it was like great. Um, just, we need to get dueling treadmills. Well, I know because we, we can't do it because now the sun sets yeah. so early. Yeah. Um, and we, Stanley, no, we, got, we got to just walk with headlamps. <laughs> Stanley would not approve though. Um, <laughs> Cause he normally, his treat was a, stro yeah. was a park at the end and yeah. now it's too dark to go to park. Well, but like, I think, um, you know, it's been, you know, we have a, a kid, I'm, I've had an injury and I think us just like being able to connect, um, uh, we now just have a rule that at any point in the day can get rid of our cell phones for an hour and it's just like it's just together. focus on us yeah, yeah which is i think really, I re it's I been really, really healthy and I really, really good yeah, and i really appreciate that you've enacted that yes except i can't do it if you have meetings <laughs> mr <laughs> businessman <laughs> yeah i know but yeah i don't know um so maybe to wrap things up i guess where do you people i think you and i people always are like what's your plan what are you gonna race what are you gonna do? And I just think you and I are so used to like we've just accepted that Jerry's got no planning, so we're, you're just kind of like I think he's planned. He just he doesn't, doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't set project them in them. stone yeah, yeah, until course, he knows somebody's ready. Yeah. yeah, I think it helps that you and I are very fluid with our. You're way more fluid than planning you. or whatever we want to do. So I don't know. It just it just seems like you're. I, yeah, I mean, I think it's been next, really fun to next, see you. The with, next yeah. steps, like the next talks, are like altitude camps, yeah. um, which you know, if an altitude camp comes up, then that you know, 99.9% .9 of the time means after 30 days up at altitude, I'll go to a race. So, um, that's, uh, always really exciting for me and, um, yeah, just keep training, hopefully get better week after week. What do you think the stand man's going to think at altitude now that he's like, can... oh, he's going to hate it cause we're going to not have bring toys. <laughs> we can't bring his, we can't, we won't be able to bring his truck. Uh, he's yeah. going to be devastated. He'll, he'll enjoy it. Yeah. Tell it. What do you think? Any other questions? So clearly people go through rough stages in life and marriages and uh, like with losing a job for a long time and unemployment and all that. What's probably, how can you compare this and what's been like something that you've like leaned on to motivate you? Has it been like faith or has it been Pat or like just the time alone? Like what have you done for you guys to make it through the hard times when you lay in bed at night and you're like, God, I haven't competed in over 12 months. Yeah, you know, I think I did some unhealthy things, like just ignored it. Like if anybody talked about a date, I would just be like, I don't care, I'm not listening. Like I had surgery last week when really it was four months ago. Like I just kind of unhealthily like tried to not think about it. Um, but I definitely, I think, you know, the biggest things for me are I don't identify, like my sport isn't my identity. Um, and then I definitely also like rely on my faith. I rely on my family. Um, and my friends and my people in in my close circle and I think that's what what gets me through um, and what helps me and stay motivated and and knowing that you know as an athlete I think it's really easy 
to put your identity in sport. And so if you get injured and you can't do that, your whole life could crumble. Um, and I feel like from a very, not a very early, t I struggled with that in high school. My, my sport was my identity and it was really bad. Um, you know, if I had a bad race, I'd be in a bad mood. And I feel like I've learned that that's not who I, that's not my only meaning in life. And um, so, yeah, I mean, it's also been good to have Stanley and Pat and, you know, Stanley's at a great age right now where he's talking and playing. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, getting, starting to do something that you enjoy um, outside of that, like just kind of distract yourself with a different hobby is a good tip. What? I've just, oh, you, like, it seems like you and I, and I know I've probably, I haven't, um, there's been moments where I wasn't giving you the highest level of support that I have in the past, and yeah, that I was on me. And that was on me. But I think I would there's, call a, you out on there's it. a couple <laughs> things. There's a couple things. We enjoyed. We enjoy the process of like. You enjoy the process of training. Yeah. I enjoy the process of helping you be your best for that. So even in the, this 13 months when you haven't raced, like we've been living the athlete lifestyle. Not like the whole time, but yeah, I mean, it's a lot of it. And I mean, it's, I, I mean, I kind of called you. I can't remember. You kind of make fun of me now. Uh, like I'll ask you to do something. God, what do you oh, say? Oh yeah, no, no, no. I say. Uh, I'm all about performance. I'm all about performance. I'm, I'm, I made some you jokes say, once. I, yeah, I was so you like, used to be, yeah, you tell it. No, you say it. Gwen was really saying, she goes, you used to be all about performance. You used to go, you know, do anything for, for me. And so now if Gwen's upstairs, she goes, I need a water. I say, well, I'm all about performance. Let's, I will bust down there, go get that water and bring it up to you because I want you to save those 30 steps. Yep. I'm all about performance. <laughs> yeah. But, and then I think there's also a component where I enjoy taking care of you. You enjoy doing your job. Yeah. So even through this hard part, like you enjoy being a professional athlete and, and this probably has allowed you to especially more so not take it for granted yeah i mean it's yeah it, it I mean, I'm, like, I'm getting older like i got an injury and just the in, yeah it's been the injury was really tough um i hopefully am on the other side right now yeah i feel like injury is really hard um i still haven't been able to race but at least now i'm doing what i love and the part of sport that i enjoy so hopefully uh yeah i'll be back at a race soon okay uh oh all right Talbot's really tight on storage, so we got to close this out quickly. Thank you for watching. I hope this kind of gives you some context to where we've been the last 13 months. So, and and you can look forward to hopefully more conversations like this after some <laughs> some races or bigger events or more positive stuff. So, anyway, thanks for watching.